Hello, my name is uh, Christian Koch. I am the director of the Golf Research Center Foundation, uh, which is located in Geneva, Switzerland, but which also has offices throughout the Gulf region. We closely follow the political, economic and social developments in the Gulf. And one aspect of that is, of course, recent developments in the energy field, specifically mm. concerning with nuclear energy as well. I think there are two fronts on which we have to look at this phenomenon. One is in terms of the civilian projects that uh, countries like the United Arab Emirates or the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia are pursuing, which are in fact acknowledgement of the need to secure energy security supplies for the future. Uh, and which really at the bottom realize that an exclusive reliance on hydrocarbons is insufficient uh, for these societies to continue to grow uh, and develop. Uh, therefore, the UAE and Saudi Arabia have decided to look for a more stable mix of energy supplies uh, from which they need to create, uh, and of course nuclear energy being only really one of those components. The second issue is a little bit more complicated in terms of the Iranian nuclear project, uh, over which doubts uh, somehow exist of whether this program is actually purely civilian or does not have in fact a more strategic component included, which means the development of a weapons program. And I think that really raises the specter of possible uh, nuclear proliferation without, uh, throughout the region. Uh, because in light of this development, uh, there are multiple risks that the GCC states face. For one, uh, as I just mentioned, the idea of proliferation, uh, that if Iran were to proceed with a weapons program, uh, it would certainly force the GCC states to contemplate uh, a similar direction. Uh, given that the direct threat that such a program would pose for the security and stability of the Arab Gulf itself. Here, the overall conviction in the region is that a U.S. defense umbrella would be insufficient, at least in the long term, uh, and the countries themselves would have to seek uh, a more indigenous and uh, local uh, alternative. Uh, on the other hand, then, on the civilian front that I mentioned at the outset, uh, the risks are also numerous in terms of issues such as nuclear safety. We've seen uh, the disaster occurring in Japan earlier in the year in Fukushima. Uh, there are problems with uh, potential accidents, uh, the issue of nuclear waste and, and what you do so uh, with that in, in, in the future. Uh, so there's never really a guarantee here of 100% safety. Uh, but you also have to deal with issues of the lack of technical expertise in the short term or the fact that you have simple uh, economic issues at play given the large capital costs that are involved in pursuing widespread civilian nuclear programs. So I think overall there are just a number of issues that have to be looked at in this regard uh, and whether the region really continues to uh, go along with uh, nuclear development as has been sort of mentioned in recent times, I think is, is an area that's still filled with a lot of questions uh, and one needs to watch it very carefully.